Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, we have this beautiful young lady back in the kitchen, Jerry, and she's always loads of fun. So Jerry is from Studio 8 Cakes mm -hmm. in Liverpool. So if you've not watched Jerry before, then get over to her page after the live. Not yet, <laughs> well, keep telling you to do it. After the live, get over to the page, give her a like, let her know what you think of her coming on the live. Mm -hmm. And she's come over here today to show you how to make a unicorn cake. Um, she's gonna show you how to ganache a cake. She's gonna show you how to make the unicorn all Oh, yeah. <laughs> and instead of one of those big long things like that or wide things like that or wiggly wobbly things like that <laughs> she's going to show you how to make one the correct size and the correct shape aren't you and it's dead easy is that pressure though yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the challenge isn't it <laughs> and she's going to use some nifty nozzles and then we were just talking there she was going to use she was going to use and she's still going to show you mm. she was going to show you how to use the easiest rose and make some little roses because she's already made them. Look at these. Take one out. We'll take one out. Yeah. <laughs> <I like that. laughs> make some little roses with the easiest rose cutter. And then I said, Jerry, you don't need to do that, love. Why don't you use these? These edible little, little what they're called? Pom poms. <laughs> and they are brilliant. I haven't seen anything like these. No, before, they're brilliant. So, and they um, taste good as well. I've literally been here for about half an hour making colours to make them roses and she just pops out of the box. Really I know, but I've been updating the, web, I've been updating the website, so I wouldn't know, but otherwise yeah, I would have. So we'll, I'll put these on the wish list as well in case you want them, because they will save loads of time, look really pretty, yeah. and everybody will want to eat them, they taste good as well. So we're going to ganache a cake, I'm hoping she's not going to ask me to use the microwave, because as you know I always burn chocolate in the microwave. <laughs> so we've got lots of things that we're going to talk about tonight, just before Jerry gets started. Mm -hmm. So um, I want to... Um, We've got, we've got the drawer for the apron, okay, which we'll do at the end of the live. We've got the drawer for the um, nifty nozzles, okay, the two new nifty nozzles, so we've got that. And I'm going to shout them out now, so let me just quickly show you these. So, uh, you grab those, Jerry. In fact, Maria, you can see them there, can't yeah. you? All right, so look, so sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Laura is in the kitchen as well, and so is Shelley. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Two important yeah. ones who are actually running the show. Hi, girls. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean they're running the show? Without them, they can't see us, so I think they're more important. Yeah. Oh. Share me off soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right. that. So let me show you this, anyhow. So we've got these two new nozzles in, okay, and we didn't know what to call them. So we've got three winners, okay, and I'm going to shout out the winners. Aren't they really pretty? Look at them. That's a large. And lovely. Yeah. Really yeah. Nice. And that's the extra large. So I'm just going to shout out the winners for them. So Anne Gallagher, you're a winner. And she said, why don't you call them off the girls who are ever so important <laughs> in the office? So um, she said, you can't call it Laura because we had a nozzle called Laura. And we did have one, but we don't have her anymore. Any, anymore. Um, so we're going to call it Maria. <laughs> so we've got one nozzle called Maria. And um, I suppose we best call the small one Maria because she's skinny and small, isn't she? And the other one is Dahlia. Now, there's two people who said Dahlia. And that was Leslie Thompson and Joe, a man. Uh, Joe Hallgate. So Leslie Thompson... Joe Hallgate, you both win a set of nozzles with Anne Gallagher. So congratulations, well done. Um, they're brand new. They're not on the website yet. I've not put them on the website, so you can't buy them until tomorrow. Or maybe tonight if I get a chance to get on there and put them on. But I've got no um, picture of cake for them. I haven't even got a picture of the nozzle. I think if you want that nozzle, what can we do? Phone the office. <laughs> they'll sell you one. <laughs> Laura's just crashed <laughs> behind the computer. Phone the no. office and say, I want that new nozzle <laughs> added to me order. She'll just love it. What she'll tell you to do is order a nozzle <laughs> with your order, one of the others, and in the order note, say you want the new large or the new extra large, and then she'll sort it out that way. That'd be easier. Uh, don't pay for your order, okay? Or, or even so, if you do that, she'll tell you to do a click and click. We'll sort yeah, it out. Sort it. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, and um, I can't get it on the I can't put it on the website because I realise I've no photo and I need a picture of it with this bag and with a with a cake behind it. Yeah. 
So that's that one. And then we've got um, the Verena's Get A Grip In. You know, she was here a few weeks ago. Uh, the new Get A Grip In, the large one. So this comes as a set of three. Okay, so it's fabulous. And then the small set was still waiting. So if Verena is watching, come on, Verena, get your finger out. They've been on order for a while. So um, she has said that they're on the way. I don't think they're actually on the way yet. I think she's still frantically making them, but they should be in very soon. We are uh, using Renshaw sugar paste tonight. And um, why was I telling you that? I was telling you that because um, last week uh, Renshaw were in and they did said if you share the live, they were going to give away a pack of gels, mm, okay, to a lucky winner. So we will draw a lucky winner for these 10 colourful gels. So I think it's great. That's They're it. amazing. I do like the yeah. colours. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Feel, so we're drawing a winner favorite. for that later. And then they've given me 20 colour dusts. So they give me 20 colour dusts and they said, look, Cara, you can do what you want. Um, you can give them all away as one draw. Or So we've split them up into four. So we're going to be giving away five colour dusts for people who share the live tonight and the reason we're doing five is that there was a lot of greens in there and lots of pinks so what we thought we'd do is we'll split them up into five colours and then tonight providing you share this live next week I'll draw four winners for the dusts and then what else have we got we're going to draw the apron I just want to tell you about these new cutters that are in stock so these new cutters that are in stock in stock are the push easy script alphabet and there they are you love these don't you yeah. Kate Star. so these are the Kate Star. we do a full range of different ones but this is their brand new script set so they came in actually a few weeks ago and I have to say we ordered loads of them and we've sold loads of them people are really liking them I've just not had a chance to tell you um, about them so I've not used them myself but they're here and they're doing very well. So if you want to look at those, they're called Kate Star, and it's the script set. Yeah? Fabulous. So I'm going to put them there. Um, what else have I got to tell you before I forget? We're going to be jam-packed with lives this week, I did tell you. So we've also got Amy Sweet Samson for two lives this week. Now Amy's coming over for Southern Ireland, and I asked her to bring her team with her. So she's actually on a flight out here on Wednesday morning with three other young ladies, that's four of them. On Wednesday night, Molly um, Robbins is joining us. So she's going to be doing something. And on when Thursday night, Rosie Kate Diva is going to be joining us. So it's going to be action packed in here. Are you coming up as well? Join the party. I'm going to come up. You may as well have a party. Everybody else is here. So the place is going to be full of women showing you how to use sweet stamps. They've got their new pixie perils that they're going to use. They're going to use their flooding method using their new syringe, which will be on the website on Wednesday. Um, all the sweet stamps should have arrived today, but they haven't all arrived today, so hopefully they'll all be here tomorrow. But the website has been updated. The problem with deliveries from Ireland is, is that they say two days, but sometimes it can be three or four, and you never know what happens over the weekend. So if you have paid for next day delivery, the office do try to ring you to let you know, and they'll either let you know that it's going to be a day late, um, and then, and then see how you go with it. But I've also put on all the edible sweet art, sweet, what they call it? Sweet sticks, <laughs> edible art, paint, sweet art. I'm glad I'm not the one saying all this. That's oh, terrible. Yeah. I feel knackered, <laughs> I tell you. I feel knackered and also did a right dozy trick today. I decided to come in, because do, I'm not doing any more classes now myself, personally, until September. So I decided to come in and clear all that area. And by the time I cleared all that area, I had to empty that area. And by the time I emptied that area, I had to rechange that. Before <laughs> I knew it, the whole kitchen was out all over the floor. And the picture I posted up was already two hours into it. So I didn't finish till 10 past five tonight. I'm completely exhausted. It looks great though. It does yeah, look great. I've checked in all the cupboards. They look amazing. <laughs> and I just found an empty one. I can't believe it. I found an empty one. So to Jerry, I said I don't know where anything is. I found an empty one. There's the other one. I even managed to sort my flowers oh, out let, as well. I'll let it fit in there. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just like squeeze myself yeah, in? Yeah, absolutely. I'll stay here oh. until Friday. And I forgot to tell you about these fabulous smoothers that Jerry's had her eye on. Yeah. So I think I've shown you all these once before, but I thought I'd show you again. It's a nice little top smoother, oblongy cake smoother. What's it smoother? Little round cakey smoother. <laughs> We're going to use these scrapers today. These scrapers got a lovely edge on, a nice sharp yes. edge on. So Jerry's going to use those. So I love them. 
clear and nice and lovely. Mm -hmm. I, I like so, it because it's clear. That's yeah. Like, it's something about clear things, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just like to have, you like seeing what you're doing, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So yeah. I'm looking at, and that, I'm looking forward to using this because I've yeah. never used these before. So. And talk about clear as well. Amy Sweet Stamps has brought out a new um, replacement for the tacky pad and it's called Pick Up Pad and that's clear as well. Um, so that's an absolutely fabulous thing. Completely food safe. Yay! Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's always a thumbs up for that one, isn't it? I know, absolutely. <laughs> just in case somebody didn't think it was food safe, just to let you know, it is food safe. Our Trade and Standards Officer kindly informed us and reassured us we didn't need to worry about it. And if you're wondering why I'm being sarcastic, we'll talk about it another day. So, Laura's just hanging behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we'll talk all about that on Wednesday. So, Jerry, shall I let you get on with this unicorn yeah, cake? That's and Laura, do you want to it. shout out any um, yes. shout outs? Hello. Just say very quick hellos. Um, we've got a brilliant <laughs> audience, <laughs> as always. Okay. Brilliant audience. Um, so, just a very quick recap. Um, everything that Jerry's using this evening is on the Sugar and Crumbs website for purchase. So, you can head over to Sugar and Crumbs when we're finished. Um, you can either search by brand, search in the toolbar at the top, or head over to the Facebook Live wish list on the right hand side. And everything that Jerry's using is in the wish list for you to find really nice and easy. And um, if you do miss any of the Facebook Live, or you've only just joined us or can't stay for the whole session, you can catch up when we're finished. So the whole post will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page, and then it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well when we're done. And um, you'll see Shelley's with us this evening, and um, she'll be over a, over Jerry's shoulder, going around the kitchen, just trying to get the fantastic one minute videos that herself and Maria put together. And that'll be all the best bits squished into one minute. So I don't know how they do it, but it is absolutely fantastic. Um, so if you do need a very quick catch up on anything in particular, they're the videos you want to watch. Um, so stick with us. Um, we're here normally until about 10 o'clock. Do some time from over, but we will give you a bit of pre-warning if we do. So Thanks thank you very much. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. She's good, isn't she? She is. Everything's yeah. just rolled into one. Well, I thought <laughs> I'd walk off and leave her anything. I thought I'd walk right. off and leave her to it. She runs the joint. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love comedy. You do know. We're not going to hear the end of this now. Don't <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm not going to say it. Everyone's just uh, <laughs> as they come. So, <laughs> reason why I'm here, I normally come for Kate Lace, but tonight I'm here because a lot of the time we've got the Sugar and Crumbs community group page. And there's lots of questions that people ask on there and that some of them are recurring questions um, especially things like how to cover cakes properly using ganache so um i'm, I'm gonna come and do that today when I, we'll start with how to actually make ganache and then we'll tell you how to cover it and then how to make a unicorn so we've got some um, caliber chocolates which are little nibs so they look a bit like these little chocolate nibs which means they're easy to melt so when i do ganache i normally do dark chocolate ganache and it's a two one ratio so for every tub of cream, um, I like to use the Elm Lee one just because it's pasteurised. So yeah, just... I'm amazed at how many people do like to use the Elm Lee. I think it feels more stable when you hear that it's pasteurised. I think it's a bit yeah. more food safe. So you think, yeah. you, you know. So, um, but I still need to heat this up to boiling. So, what I normally do is I, I boil this in a pan, and then um, I'll microwave the chocolate drops until they're melted. So they do at 30 second intervals. So don't do it all in one go because if you do it for like two minutes, you burn the chocolate. Yeah. So 30 seconds at a time. Once that's boiled, give it a few minutes to cool and then just pour it together and whip it up. So when it's mixed, it will be quite runny. Um, so you need to let it set for a couple of hours. So Blue Peter style, I have some I've made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> We've been busy in this kitchen. Yeah, so uh, when I cover the ganache, I said I've been busy, I didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a hard blob if I'd done it right now. I'll give it two layers of cling film. So the first one, goes right on, sits on top of the ganache itself and that's to stop any air bubbles and then obviously you have another one just in case um, you've missed a spot. So if she can, I'll pull it off. Ooh, couldn't you so just it? No, okay. So I've actually given it a quick ping in the microwave um, before I got here. Um, so it should be like peanut butter consistency. So that's, uh, yeah, that's quite good. So when it should be like this, and it's nice and easy to spread. If you find when you're spreading your cake and it's tearing your cake a bit, just put it back in the microwave for about 10 seconds. So we'll see how we go. I think the bottom's still running it, so we should be all right. So um, I've got a chocolate cake and it's been leveled three sponges. Now I do like to use a cake board um, underneath all my cakes. One to give it a bit of extra height 
but two, it just makes it easier transferring from the fridge onto your cakes and it doesn't damage the cake. So I'm going to pop a little blob of ganache on the board itself, that's to stop it rolling. And then I'm going to take my buttercream. So it's a bit easier when you put it in a piping bag. Okay. These are like basic techniques when you're doing your, your cake. So I know a lot of people probably already know how to do it, but there are quite a few people there's on that group. There's a lot of us who don't and know how to do it. It's just nice to refresh. Or sometimes you do things differently that, um, that you might not have thought of. So hopefully that's the case. Right, so just spread it on. It looks funny when you look at it like this, don't you? Right. <laughs> probably not the right colour. <laughs> so, right, so um, just spread it on with your palette knife. And over. Pop the second layer on. Push it down a little bit because you want it to kind of squish out any air. And then just go in with the next layer. So I start in the middle, squeeze it out. Okay, so again, I'm just going to use the palette knife there and take it right to the edge. I don't damn uh, the edges of these cakes when I do mine because the ganache kind of more or less looks opposite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes into all the little crevices anywhere that you miss, and it's because it's quite uh, rigid when it's all dry, you're not going to get these bumps forming. So that's layer on top, and again, just give it a little press down. So as, when I make a unicorn cake, I like to give it three layers um, yeah. or two thicker layers. Yeah, but I think it looks better. No you one need likes that to squish unicorn, you? do no. they? No. It's nice. It's got How are you height. doing the eyes for it, actually? Um, I'm going to use fondant. We're going to roll some fondant and paper. Oh, right. um, Can we do the other side with the... Uh, I was going to say, could you use the Amy Sweet stamp size, couldn't we? Oh, I've not done that before. Have you not? No. Do you want to do them, then? Oh, then yeah, we like can show them how to roll like, eyes as well, can't we? Yes, definitely. Right, so just pop this mess on the side. So now that this is squished down, I'm gonna take um, a ganache plate. It's actually got a piece of grease with paper on there. So I'm gonna leave that on. And then I actually, I'll put a ganache plate on and I actually flip my cake around. So just flip it upside down. And then I'm gonna start popping some ganache on the bottom. I could just what stick my finger that? in that. <sighs> I'm, I'm always tempted, but I've gotta be good now, can't be. <laughs> been doing this five years and every year I think I've gained an inch here and there. It's scary. You, you don't want to admit it, do you? You think, oh, it's no. fine, you, you're in denial, but now, no, I seriously have. It's funny though, because I think the majority of the people who do make cakes for a living say, I don't even eat cake. Yeah. Well, no, we don't need to, because it's all the bits that we eat while we're making it. <laughs> that is exactly it, it, isn't it? Policy yeah. control. So when I put the um, ganache on, I, I, I slap it on, but then I swish it left and right. That way you're not likely to tear the sponge underneath. And go in quite thick. And I go all the way around. Now this could get interesting because I normally use a metal scraper, but we're going to try these plastic, the, the acrylic ones tonight, which I'm liking the look of those. The main thing about when you're ganaching and trying to get these straight edges is just sort of have a nice turntable as well. Do I put it on a turntable? Yeah. Um, I don't actually. Do Maybe you because that? you can do. It's just that when I put it on a turntable, I tend to find it moves more. Yeah, right. I think it's just me because I'm what quite heavy. What about when you come to smooth it? Um, nope. Still, I, I like to put it on the flat surface and oh. I actually turn the cake. But I also make a mess on the top of this, so I say I am quite messy when it comes to doing this bit. Don't worry, I'll stick my finger in the kit. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when uh, when it's all done, it looks nice and polished. So, and so just keep going around. So I say it's been quite easy to get on this. If, it, if you find your ganache is runny, then you need to leave it a bit longer. If it's gone really hard overnight, um, just ping it in the microwave for between 10 and 30 seconds until it's back to this consistency. So I'll see how that is for now. Let's have a go at this new toy. So there is a tapered edge here. That's, um, so we're going to put that towards me and I'm going to bring it around. Ooh. Right, I'm going to turn this around so you can see. That's a lovely edge. It is. So, it is. 
first time as well. Freaking amazing. So always scrape off your scraper and the excess goes back into your bowl. Ooh, can turn it around a little bit again. So I'll go around at several points. And when you get ganache plates, you normally get a pack of two. So you can have the option where you put one at the top, one at the bottom. Right. And then you can scrape it up and remove those two. But because I put the cake drum under mine, I tend to um, only put it on the top. So the ganache plate as well, something as well, it's a little bit bigger than the drum, isn't it? It is. So it gives you that thickness, doesn't it? Yeah. And um, so again, it's personal preference whether you want um, a thicker layer of ganache around your cake. Some, some people don't, they just want it enough to give it stability. Yeah. Um, so it's up to you how much you put on. But these scrapers are great because they give you a full 90 degree angle. So even if you put a thinner layer of ganache on, it well, should be like it. Because it, <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. it's good though, considering the first time you've used it. But they're yeah. nice though, aren't they? So as I say, you need, um, did you say you can't put them in dishwasher? Uh, no, the hand wash only, yeah. yeah. Well, I think what happens when you put them in the dishwasher, they can they get those get little cracky like, lines, yeah, things, don't they? Yeah, you can get, um, they can be sort of bow as well, can't they? Yeah. A bit of acrylic. I've yeah. ruined loads of plastic glasses that I've bought yeah. for the kids. I know what you yeah. mean. They get like almost like a shattered effect, yeah. but they're not shattered. Yeah. yeah. I would think that's the reason. That's good, isn't it? Right, so I've done this, um, I've gone all the way around. Take off that top bit. So, what I like to do now is I'm going to flip it back the right way up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Right. Should I get a bottle of hot water ready to clean, clean that board? Well, do you know what I normally do is I just take that off now. Yeah. And then I'm going to clean up this one. So we're going to do just the edges again. So I go on the top now. So this is why I don't need the top plate. But as I say, it's personal preference whether you want to use it. It will be a thicker layer if you have the, the plates. So I'll just go around the edge. I'm leaving the centre because I need to put my hand there. I don't want to put my fingers in, into chocolate. Oh, we will. <laughs> <laughs> right. So again, just going around with the scraper. And yeah, after this stage, that's when I'll be running around with some, um, some hot water along with. So, um, someone has asked how many servings roughly would you get from this size of cake with it being the three layers? Obviously, it's quite thick, isn't it? It is. So, I mean, I, I personally, it depends on how hungry you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think you can actually get about 20 portions out of this. Yeah. Most of my cakes are about five inches tall. So, and I always say they serve 15 to 20. This one's slightly taller. <clears throat> so... Actually, I don't even think it needs the hot ball, so it's quite... Yeah, it's a lovely finish. Yeah. Mm. So, as I say, I can just gonna take the palette knife and take, spin it round. And again, you can use a turn tip if you like, I just prefer not to. Okay. And what do you prefer to ganache with? White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate? I prefer the dark. Um, yeah. I think because your cakes are already quite sweet, so when you have a dark chocolate, it just gives it a bit more balance. Um, and also, if you do want to go for white chocolate or milk, you might need to alter the ratio a little bit. So if it's white chocolate, they've got more of a content, uh, fat content, so you want to do a 3 to 1, possibly even 4 to 1 ratio, depending on how hot um, the climate you're living mm. in. And then, um, but for dark chocolate, it's generally two, uh, 2 to 1. And I, and I find this one is least likely to split. So if you've never done it before, try the dark first and then go in with what you're eating. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Sorry. Right, so just the camera on. Yeah. <laughs> we can't flip the camera around no. and show you what I'm doing, can we? <laughs> so, um, there we go. So, yeah, we, so if you've never done this before, try the dark chocolate first. Okay, so um, Laura Jane Wait. Herring has Ooh. said would this not be easy to do on a turntable? So that's what we said to Jerry a few minutes ago. You might have missed it. Um, and it's actually just a personal preference. So yeah. Jerry explained that she actually finds it easier um, to turn the cake herself rather than it being on a turntable. Just more, a bit more control um, and keeping control of the cake and you can turn it when you want. Um, again, Marie Dowling-Lavin has said, I thought the reason for a ganache disc was to run the ganache up to the edge of the plate. 
So again, if you do get chance, recap when we're finished, um, and Jerry will show you that she actually started with a drum on the cake, um, and that was her guide for the ganache, basically. Um, so the ganache plate is, is, again, it's about stability of keeping the cake where it needs to be. And again, it's a personal preference. If you do want a thicker finish for the ganache, you can, of course, go up to the edge of the ganache plate. Um, so hopefully I've answered that right. Yeah. Perfectly said, Laura. I tell you, brilliant, aren't you? It's quite hard when you're coming in, as I say, because um, I know people will be joining at different parts. Yes, but yes. Yeah, feel free to, un to ask questions. That's, I don't mind um, repeating. So, yeah, this is more or less the first stage that I'd be happy with. Do you want it... any hot water in them? What do you know? I'm going to put it in the fridge for a bit. <clears throat> so what the, I normally do is I'll let it chill at this stage for about half an hour. And then um, when it comes out of the fridge, it's, it's, it's firm. So then if I want to go over again, I can do and finish it off. And then you get a bit of hot water on your scraper, go around and it takes off any air bubbles and any uh, loose bits. So the process is quite quick. Right, so I'm going to pop it back on, just so we don't dirty Carol's fridge. I'm going to just <laughs> pop this on top of a clean cake drum. And we can pop that in the fridge once we've got some stuff. Do you want me to get you a cloth for the board? Can you just get me some cling film? Oh, there's one on the side and I can yeah. pop it round. Where do you want that cloth? Oh, I'm just going to wrap it over the cake and then we can... Oh, do you wrap it over the cake, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't show mine. <laughs> <laughs> and are we using this ganache? We're done, that's covered. Yeah. Craig, you made a lot of ganache. I, uh, I made a lot of mess too, so. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Sure, I right. did. Okay, I'm messing. We're going to quickly have a quick tidy up and then um, I'll show you one that I've made earlier. So the process is quite simple. When you're, when you're ganaching, it's just about going round and taking time. So if you've got something that's um, at a right angle, like the smoothers, make sure you've got it to the board and you've got a perfect right angle to take you round that cake there. Right, Jerry, do me a favour, there's a little fridge down there, just yep. below you there. Oh, and I've got cling film in there, because the lady this weekend told me to put cling film in the fridge. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. Right, stop it sticking. Mm. Oh, I think it was this weekend. weekend. There you go. So, yeah, for anyone who's missed any of the bits that we've started with, um, you can watch everything back on the Facebook page. So when we're finished, it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page. I have to tell you, um, she's absolutely right. What, when it's in the fridge? Yeah. I'm amazed. You can see it. I don't know who it was. I'm just going to go wash these utensils. This, is a, this is a, a new fabulous moment. <laughs> so they, this weekend or last weekend, I can't remember it was, you know the cling film sticks to your roll all the time and then you end up peeling a bit off and it all goes round and all funny. This lady said, so I can't even remember the lady. She's watching tonight. Please shout out. She said, I'll put it in the fridge, Carol. And I, I've just put it in the fridge. Look at it. Perfect. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to wrap Jerry's gonna What would you like, Queen Bill? <laughs> yeah. oh, we've got loads of it. We've got loads of it. I can wrap it around. Would you like a body wrap? Oh, I'd love one. <laughs> you better be able to lose weight doing that. I don't know. Keep wrapping the whole roll. How <laughs> brilliant is that? So there you go, top tip, keep Bye. it in the fridge. There you go. Right, so well, there you go. You want to clean for cake? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so whilst, um, I'll say, whilst it's just chilling, we're going to get the other one out. Now, actually that's another thing. When I when I put the cling film around, sometimes you get little bumps or in like these bits which are a bit rough. Yeah. So when I wrap my cling film around it, I just kind of dab it with my hand and that smooths it out. Yeah. So you okay. have less to tidy up later on when you, yeah. if you do need to bring it out. But actually that's not too bad. You can probably get away with keeping you, it as is. Did you see how easy it was to get that cling film off? That is great, All these it? years. I mean, I'm struggling with my cling film. But this is what I mean, you know, when you when people offer tips, because, you know, cake making is global and people have tips from everywhere that you, yeah. you could be doing for 20 years and you'd never know. Do you want this ganache going back in the fridge or is yes, it? Yes, okay? please, yeah. Um, can I just answer a couple of questions? Is that yes. all right? Yeah. Um, so, um, they want us to watch this uh, cling film, uh, Jerry, do they? Oh, I don't. Um, <laughs> So, oh, it was Brenda, Brenda Whiting, Whiting, that was me, thank goodness it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous, oh, Brenda. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, I'm well sure for that, it really does work. <laughs> um, so a couple of people have asked, the ganache plates we do sell on the website, and um, we've got squares, rounds, and all different sizes, so if you head over and literally just type in the search bar ganache plates, they will also be in the Facebook Live wish list as well. Um, Emily Richards has asked, after stacking your cakes, do you leave it to settle? And if so, how long for? 
Um, so if I, when I take, put my uh, chilled cakes out of the fridge to, thank you, to uh, roll out with the pandas, it stays out. So I put it, uh, well, as I'll show you now, I'm going to cover the cake and then that stays out for the rest of the, um, until pick up. It doesn't need to go back in the fridge. Right. Um, although it, you will find that it sweats a teeny, teeny bit. And if that happens, just don't touch the sides of the fondant. Um, but it's great for adhering things like bits of um, sugar, you know, like little sugar flowers, things like yeah. that actually help. It lends itself. So this is one that we've done earlier on. And I'm just going to peel that bit of um, grease proof off. But as you, it's literally the same process that I've just done. And you can see little bits here that could do with a spot of um, ganache just to fill it in. Do you want to um, get a little foot? Hot water. Um, that this is actually pretty smooth from that right. smoothness. I don't actually need it, but I will grab the ganache just to fill in the top because there's a little bit of a gap. You need that ganache I've just cleaned filled up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Everyone does this in the kitchen. It never, it never goes smooth. So just gonna fill in these little bits because as I say, when you have little air bubbles, they'll, they will get picked up by the, the sugar paste. You don't want that. So, so yeah, I'll just when um when you do the ganache plate, this one I that was using, it actually says it's six and a half inches, whereas the cake drum is six. So if I've done um if you don't mind a thicker side to your ganache, you can by all means pop it on top and you can yeah right the way around. as a guide. Yeah. 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 But I say I don't like putting too thick a layer on mine. So mine would be based on the cake drum that I've got yeah. underneath. Right, so that's great. That's so dope. this is three six inch sponge cakes um, yeah. stacked with buttercream and covered with ganache. Um, do you have a particular recipe for your chocolate cake or is it a secret? Um, it's not really a secret, <laughs> to be fair. It's just a tweaked Mary Berry one. Oh, okay. Um, so on the BBC Food Guide, she's, she's got one on there. Um, the thing is though, it's all about trial and error and finding what's right for you. I think sometimes also the size of cake you're baking, yes. so a six inch and an eight inch, they, sometimes they bake a bit differently. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Mary Berry one's lovely, nice yeah. and moist. So, right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to ice this one. There you go. So, oh, thank you. Shall I leave these here? Yes, that's great, thank you. So I've got my Renshaw uh, white. I'll see how much space I have to work at for the Back home, I have a massive table, but I have to have a lot of Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I literally take over, so if you give me an inch, I will use up every, every million. I think space. every cake baker does that. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Given, yeah. Isn't yeah. It? I'm oh. trying to be more, uh, I'm trying to condense my work a bit more, but I just can't do it. No. Right, so I'm going to pop that on the edge while we've got a nice clean surface. I don't want chocolate on my white. On my white found it. So I'm going to dust my surface with corn flour. Right, and we're just going to get the large rolling pin. We need to roll this out. So it doesn't have to be, um, I've got loads of sugar paste here actually. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'll come prepared and I'll make sure we've got enough. <laughs> So um, as I'm rolling, if you've got any questions, do ask. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we didn't really need five kilos yeah. of things. <laughs> this will go the long way. <laughs> okay. Just keep, uh, dust it occasionally as well. And when I do roll a large surface, I tend to um, rotate it. Just one that stops sticking and two, you get a more even roll. Yeah. Yeah. So keep turning it. Victoria Turner House just said, how many of us have just relocated the cling film? <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I do when brilliant. I go home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Was it Brenda who told me, yeah. was it? It's very clever. I've got her now. It drives me mad cling film. I think I was whinging at her about it, going, because you know, when you peel it and then it's, mm. you end up ripping a bit off and then it ends up going oh, half round round all the way around. Plus, round. Yeah. Yeah. you can never find the end. I did look at her as though she was yeah. daft when she told me to stick it in the fridge, but <laughs> anyhow, well done, Brenda. Right, I think this is really thick, but um, I'm going to roll with it anyway. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> We've got quite a few people who are quite confident now. They, they like the look of the ganache, and there's quite a few people saying, 
like they're actually going to give it a go because now they've seen the finish on a cake and how quick it can be. Yeah. I think yeah. you've given people a bit of an insight now of, of how easy it can be. I've got to be honest, our Laura always buttercreamed and then she did ganache and she won't go back now. Yeah, no, it's great. And especially if you're doing like a wedding cake and you want to make sure it gets the venue in, in uh, one yeah. piece, ganache is the way. Um, it's more stable. And I think um, when you can get, you want those nice, crispy, ed sharp edges, this is the way forward. Yeah. So, just taking that underneath the cake. Yeah, just take your five kilos of fondant. <laughs> and don't get chocolate on it like I've just done. <laughs> right, so rub it over. Well and a massive audience, Jerry, 372. Oh, wow. Can you imagine? 370 people, put two wow. people watching you look. So it's always nice to come back. I feel like I'm on tour because I've been doing a few things here and there this <laughs> week. And uh, I'm, this is my last one, actually, before I... I have a little bit of a break. break. Yeah, it's great fun. I love going out and just being able to share um, and talk to people because it's really yeah. It is it is um, lonely, isn't it, when you're working for yourself and we tend to be working in the middle of the night and everything. Oh, I do. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. up till three, four in the morning. Yeah. Um, my cake friends all know me. They, we ask each other questions at ridiculous hours of the day, <laughs> um, but someone's always up. Yeah. Well, I was the person who rang it half past nine one night to <laughs> bail me out the rubbish bin, didn't I? See how I use that right, word? I'm bail me out the rubbish bin. <laughs> so some crafty person had gone on my Facebook page and converted us to Chinese writing. How <laughs> you do? So... She's so, lucky I can read it, because I, I mean, I've not been to Chinese school in years. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I, it's rang, about, I know food and that's about it. I rang her and she went, hello. <laughs> Why are you ringing me at this well, time? I thought night? I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is right. The, when you uh, cut your cake, you can use a knife, but um, you can also use the smoothers. So, because they bend, I just take them and uh, I chop them off at the ends. That's a really good idea. It's a very good idea. You don't have too much waste in them. And then you're not damaging your boards underneath. Yeah, that's a good idea. Look at these top tips. Yeah. So let's just take, get rid of the excess. This is where you ring a girl in the know. It's like, <laughs> if she even knows Chinese when your website's been hacked, not your website, your Facebook page yeah. has been hacked. Hacked to Chinese writing. So I had to, I had to get her on there to change, convert it all back again. God bless you. Oh, <laughs> easy job. <laughs> right, so um, when I put this on, I like to flip it upside down. So again, when it, with it being ganache, it's, it's so easy. You just, have, just grab the normal cake from. I'll so Caroline that. Miller, do you not need to knead the sugar paste? She'd already pre-kneaded it before we yes, come live. Sorry. Because she brought so much with her <laughs> and needed so much, the request was for five kilos. So while you lot have been waiting for the live to start, she's been rolling it like mad in here. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I have to prep in advance because you don't, I mean, it is a two hour live, but you never know. By the time we do all the chatting, and yeah, the, no, it goes very it, quick. It goes, you're having too much fun. There we go, Richard's there, he's on it. There's enough there to wrap you up in sugar paste afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so we can clean film wrap you in <laughs> sugar paste all over you. Oh, I feel like Christmas. Like... <laughs> so, what I've done is I've just gone around with the normal smoother, and then I'm going to go around with the flexi smoother. And Keep my um, flex smoother on the board, and if I keep rubbing it, that will give me um, a nice sharp bottom. Well, the top, the top edge will be nice and flat. So just a quickie Rinse there. Viv Goddard God, God, God was said she was always told to spray ganache with water before putting fondant on. Ah, right. Mm -hmm. So because our ours comes straight out the fridge, by the time you've kneaded your fondant and rolled it, there's condensation already falling from the coldness of that cake, so you don't actually need to. It would stick. You can if you want, but I'll say I've not. I've never had to. It's already quite cold, and you can you can actually feel now that the, the cake is getting cold. It's coming through. So I'm just gonna take it round. I love this thing because it's so big. Brilliant, Brilliant isn't yeah. it? But there is a smaller one you can get, but mm. sometimes you nip it on the side of the cake. Yeah. Well, she's got the smaller set of with the grip, guess the grip. But this is the big one. Mm -hmm. and it's got a, it's got a really big side one as well. Yeah, right. So you can actually go a bit further, even more so with it. So just keep going until you feel like you've hit all the edges. So just to reconfirm, some of you think that she's using sugar paste that she didn't have to knead. Jerry pre-kneaded it before we went live. Just before we went live, 
she needed the sugar paste so it's not some magical sugar paste seriously yeah. it isn't so that's the second person i've seen us for it i mean the men's shell stuff's quite good it's quite soft it's not you don't really don't need to do much to it no so Darren Jenkins said, if he was doing a vanilla sponge cake recipe mm -hmm. for a wedding cake, what ganache would be best to use for that? Okay, so I still use dark chocolate ganache on all my cakes, unless requested, um, because not everyone likes white chocolate. It looks nicer um, if you, you know, if with with the dark. If you're gonna ice it with a white cake, mm. like I have done, you might get a couple of marks, but you can you can remove them. But um, white chocolate, you're not likely to see as much. Yeah. Mm. So again, this is personal preference. But I, um, I personally prefer to use dark and all mine. But remember, if you're going to use white chocolate, just use a three to one ratio. It's got a higher fat content in that. So again, just taking it round. If I rub it up and down, it just gets rid of any bumps and lumps. Like so. Is the couple of people just mentioning they do get air bubbles between the ganache and the fondant? Have you got any tips for either not, that not happening or to get rid of them? Um, to try and reduce them from coming through, just make sure your ganache is nice and smooth. So if you did have any little um, dents or little bubble gaps in between the ganache, just fill it in with a bit more. And then when you come to icing it, always um, smooth your top first, like so. And then you're going to try and make sure you've got all the sides completely covered and touching the cake and then you move your way down. So that right. it's, it's pushing, pushing all the pushing air down. Out. Yeah. yeah. If you do find you've got an air bubble, just a little pin to prick it um, and release that. If it's a large one, you might need to pull the underside of the fondant out and just create a skirt and let it come mm -hmm. out that way. So, so that's that's not bad. No, now, not at all. If the top is not quite uh, smooth enough, or if you want it even more straight edge, what you can do is. Just take the edge of the smooth it. Oh, and again, this is kind of like the perfect height. It's not. I'm just going to take the the normal smoother and just push it against the flexi smoother, and that just again heatens it up a bit. So if you can see that edge, yeah, that's a bit neater. So guys, I'm watching the live on my phone, and I've got full signal. I know some of you are struggling. But I can't give you an, an idea what it is. We've got full signal yeah. here, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got no interruptions here. Yeah. I know a few of you elsewhere have an interruptions, but we don't seem to have lost any of the audience. We've lost 10 people. Oh. <laughs> Gone for a coffee. From yeah. 357. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? Because we were 369, I think. There you go. So, again, that's a bit neat on the sides. Yeah. So the sugar base that we're using tonight is Renshaw, it's Renshaw Extra. extra. Mm -hmm. We like to give you as an audience a choice of lots of sugar base. As you know, we show you Select Island, we show you Master Ticino, we show you Renshaw Extra. Um, what else do we sell? Um, direct. Sugar Paste Direct. Select so direct. we like different people coming in using different sugar paste. Because um, we do. You know, everybody is to each in their own personal there is, ones, yeah. isn't there? I mean, I've like? used a fair share, and it depends on the job that you want to do, and also your budget. If you want to spend more on something like Massa, which is great, um, it, it's a bit of a treat that one, isn't it? You don't really, mm. you wouldn't use it on a normal cake. Um, but at the same time, it's not very good if you want to use it for watercolor cakes because they've got more Tylo in it. You'll find it goes a bit gluey. Um, so Renshaw's doesn't have as much Tylo in it, so that one's quite good for uh, watercolor style cakes. So I'm just going to go grab a board. Yeah, no worries. So it seems lots of people are not having any problems and our live feed has gone up to 375 again. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I really don't know. All I can think is you've got something wrong in your area or with your own Wi-Fi. So what I've done, I've just um, iced the board with some uh, mixed colours of pinks and pinks, whites and orangey tones. So it's got, I left it as a marble effect because when we go to do this uh, unicorn cake, it's going to have lots of different coloured elements to it so and if you want to know how to marble a board we've got kim firth in on the 24th of june who's going to show you how to, it's monday's the 24th of june isn't it um, i'm sure it is i'll take your word for it i'm sure it is <laughs> but we've got kim, kim firth in and she's going to be showing you how to marble a board and yeah. she's going to use the karen davies brush embroidery but marbling is great isn't it yeah i love it right 
So I'm just going around and again, if I find areas on the base like here aren't quite um, as neat as I want them to, I'm going to take my smoother, just wrap it around gently so that it's not going to catch on the edge and I'm going to run my finger across it. And then that should smooth it out. We will be doing things around the board as well to um, with decorations and whatnot, but I always like to start with a white and clean canvas. <clears throat> <clears throat> so just taking it round gently. <laughs> You're not worried about that smoother cutting into your board? Well the board was done this morning yeah. so I tried to give it a bit of time to um, harden up. Do you dry, Do you bake your board or do you just leave it to dry? I don't, I just leave them out. So yeah. they, I mean it's got a little bit of tilo in it but it's not um, a huge amount. Mm, and I, I just leave mine to dry goes, as well. Sometimes you don't have time, you, you do it as you go um, but if I do have time I, I like them to dry out. Just, well, I've only ever seen one board baked. I've never seen one board baked. I've never laughed my head off so much. Oh, right. And it was when Gwen Powell was here. She did one of her first lives. And then she said, oh, somebody told me to bake my board. So she baked the board, put it in the oven. We were taking no notice whatsoever. Oh, no. Next, <laughs> next minute, this burnt, crusty board came out oh, of the oven. God. Bubbled up to death. <laughs> it was Thanks, just so babe. funny. Not looking too bad. So no. That's the neatest side I've got. So I'm going to use that as my front. And then, so what we're going to do is, we're going to make um, some eyes, horns, ears. We're going to use some buttercreams, um, different colours, and I'll show you some of the nozzles as well. Right. So, um, Ellen, yes, we do sell the Flexi Smoother. This is part of the large set. So, Barina is Barina's Smoothers. Her smaller set is not in stock at the moment. We're waiting for a delivery. But a, a big Getter Grip set is in stock. And if you watched her make the... Um, what was oh, it? it was the candy box. The candy box the other week. Box. That is the set that you want. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Renshaw Teddy Bear Brown, just about half a pack. You don't need that much. And what are you going to do with it? So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of Tylo powder. Oops. Oh, says. okay. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what about two tape. Why don't you two scrape that off and put it back in I your will thing? do, but do you know what? I might need it. I'll see how much. You're not going to need all that. That's about two. two. Well, do you know when That's you quite a lot. That's going to be a rock it? hard on this, isn't it? Well, you want it to be stable, don't you? <laughs> you to break the teeth, isn't it? Trying to suck that off the pole, won't we? Let's have a look up. That's all right. So it's about a teaspoon that you need in, in 125 grams. But you need to go by feel because if you, it's more humid, then you'll have to take um, a bit more. So where's my scraper gone? Like that one. So this is also good because look, you can make a line of them and tidy up. There you go. Go on, scrape it back in your pot. Won't do any. No, yeah, that's fine. So give me a second to clean up. Another way to use your smoother. That's yeah, a hot see? tip, that, isn't it? See? I'm going full of We've tips. got all these tips here. It's funny, so I was like, every time I do a, a demo of some kind, improvisation is like the key thing to everything Absolutely. we do. Of course it is. But, um, yeah, so I'm just going to clean up this area. Might as well use it, eh? <laughs> Put those in. Absolutely. So yeah, so your, your fondant should be... Um, a bit firmer now. It's, that's not I reckon we're going to have a rock hard one here. The, well, I don't think it'd be, it's not too bad. It's, <laughs> it's, if, you, um, if you find that it's cracking when you're rolling, then you put too much in. But at this moment in time, we're okay. So we're going to grab uh, a 12 inch dowel. So these are poly dowels. The, the new ones have got a bit of a, hole, a little hole in the center, so they're like a big jumbo straw. And I'm going to position it just in front, not quite um, in the middle, just slightly offset. So, and as you can see, it's massive, so you don't need that much. I was going to say, did we talk about not doing massive forms? Well, I think that's the problem. Some people, <laughs> maybe you don't have pliers, but you know, they, they seem to go for the same height as the, as the dowel. So if you have got pliers, that's a good thing to invest in. And you just want to take some off. So I'm going to go about, so that's about four, three inches. Yep. Oh, actually, it's new scissors. <laughs> Right, so this is a good, there you go, nice and easy. You don't even need pliers. Right, so chop it down to about three inches. There are two ways to do this one, so I'm gonna show you both ways. First way is we're gonna make a very long sausage. So just roll out your, your sausage. And you can use your smoothing tool to kind of help guide it along. Do you just push that cake out the way so they can way. see what you're doing for a minute? Sorry, is that better there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Great. So, if you use the rolling, the smoother, it just um, makes it more level. You can get a, the, the, the roll kind of is more even. So 
so there we go now I've kept it tapered on one side because that's the bottom of it and I'm just going to roll it so it's a bit more pointy and then the same on this side so so far so good and all you do is you wrap it round so I start at the back just pinch it and then you wrap oh, it oh bring your cake to the front oh, now sorry we can see it is that better? yeah that's right, right. I keep forgetting that we've got so many camera angles and you're just going to wrap now you can add water but again the, pa the paste does most of the work you don't really need to so as you can see it's gone up to that bar that up to the, it's gone up to the straw and I'm just going to keep going until it gets to the top like so Oh, look and at that. It. Okay? Yeah. So that's one way to do it. Are you going to show us another I'm way? I'm going to show you another way. So yeah. So it's good to have more. Well, Darren, than one Darren Jenkins has just said he tried making flour gum paste last week and burnt out his Kenwood food mixer. Good oh, knows, no. goodness knows how much Tylo he put in it. <laughs> so I think it's half a teaspoon per 250 grams. Is that how much you're supposed yeah. to use, right? I use a bit more than that. As but... you threw on about yeah. three tablespoons there. <laughs> But I do work quite quick, so I suppose um, it's got less. I've got less time to work with, so uh, it, I don't get the cracks as quick. So this time, same thing as before. I'm gonna do um, a sausage, tapered ends, but the middle bit's a little bit thicker, just slightly. So what I do is I fold it in half. Oops, move that. Fold it in half, twist it, like so. I like that idea. And that makes another horn. So then you can just position it onto your um, cake if you want to that way. Let me move this again. Keep forgetting how to move things. So Melanie, it's not Massa. We are using Renshaw Extra tonight. Mm -hmm. But we like all the sugar paste that we sell in the shop. So I just like to get different people in to use different things. So just twist it and you'll be able to feel it going in. So and you just twist the tip there as well so it's a bit more pointy so as i say there's two different ways to do it let me just find and it's up to you which one you prefer to use there we go it's gone wonky hasn't it it has gone wonky let's do it the other way what should do we mean? do it again third time this in case no one's seen it <laughs> as soon as you told so them how nice your horn was going now. to be <laughs> Can I? <laughs> so as I say, there's two ways to make the horn. <laughs> now, actually, probably the first way is probably better for the large one. If I've got time at the end, I'll make you a small little unicorn as a sugar topper. That one, I definitely use it where you fold it in half and you uh, twist it. Uh, no, worry, it no worries, Jenny. Uh, Jenny Muscat, we will let you off. She pressed <laughs> an angry face by mistake. Oh. <laughs> so all you need to do, if ever you press an angry face by mistake, just quickly press the smiley face mm -hmm. and it will change it again. Go around again. And as you can see, if it's a bit short, you just twist it and you get a bit of extra height. Ta-da! Ta -da. There we go. <laughs> Much better. It's funny when you so, see some horns on there, they're like 12 inches oh, long, no. aren't they? <laughs> the main thing is you want it to taper. So yeah. you don't want it to be too fat at the top. And just by twisting it like that, it's going to help to taper it up. So next one, we're going to do the, we'll do the ears next, because we need to... Did I say Maloney's uh, name wrong today? Maloney? She said, hi Carol, I forgive you for saying my name wrong after all the time of getting it right. I thought I said it right. Maloney it is, isn't it? Yeah. Did I say Maloney today? I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm I not said. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> I'll have to do replay later. Right. So, for the ears, we're going to take some white and... Probably, um, I always go off size, guys, by like, you know, food. That's mm. not really good. It's not Malteser size. What kind of size would you say this it's is? It's definitely not Malteser. It's like a croissant. It's like a, no, that's like a big marshmallow. You know, there's big marshmallows. Yeah. It's one of them sizes. So I'm going to make two of them. Try and get them the same size. Mm, a little bit more. You can always roll a bigger ball and cut it in half, that, if that helps um, to make it more symmetrical. Phil Thorne, he's just testing his smiles. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just made two little, um, what are called? Teardrops. Yes, teardrops. That's all well, you're making. I, I thought we were sausages. making ears. Teardrops. Yeah, you were getting it there. Yeah. She's got all the technical terms. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't speak anymore. So, um, do my teardrops and then I'm just going to get a rolling pin and squish the middle bit slightly. And I have to get to go left and right. Oh, look at and that. That forms readers. Mm-hmm. Right, nice okay. and quick. Make that a bit bigger. There you go. And then I'm going to take the, do the same again with a smaller piece of the Feng Shui Teddy Bear Brown. There you go. Nice and quick. And that goes on the inside, like so. Well, I'd say they're neat pair of ears, aren't they? Yeah, they're just nice and quick as well. You can use cutters, um, but I just find them easy just to do a quick roll. And if you make a mistake, you can always roll it again, can't yeah. you? So when you're happy with the placement, just brush them down with your, finger, your thumb. Maloney said I said Melanie. Pinch the bottom. Maybe I did. Sorry, Maloney. So if you pinch the bottom, you've made ears. Perfect. Yeah, yeah look so at that. If you want, you can leave them to dry, um, or if you want them to go onto the cake straight away, just put um, cocktail sticks in them, which is what I'm right. going to do. So before you do that, we can switch mm. over to that camera there. Yeah. Oh, Did you notice? I've lost oh. feed of that one. Pardon? I've lost feed of that one. Ah, right, okay then. Okay. So no, turn it round to this way. So you're going to have to do it back to front. That's all right. Sorry. Because so they want to see what you're doing. We just love just it. Just around to see which part looks nicer <laughs> on the front. Yeah, that bit. So That's if you have you ever lost your signal, but I have to say I've not lost my signal. No, and fine. Laura's recording, she's not lost hers. Um, some of you think that Facebook have been mucking around. Maybe they have, I really yeah. don't know. But all I can say is well, I can't say anything, I don't know. I've no, no idea. We, you can catch Ooh, I like up. them ears. When Look we're at finished, that. you can watch the whole thing back and there'll be no interruptions to it. Hey, aren't they a good pair of ears? Fantastic. You can have to, to, can have to move them. that one back. At, this move, one. You, move your this. cocktail stick just a little bit back. Out here? Uh, towards you, I think. Sorry. Right, this way? Yeah. Right. Hard work. When you yeah, I know. Yeah. Sorry. It is hard work. Yeah, but we want them to see. We don't of care course. that you're from yeah. Shelley, can you get out of the way? No, look. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, see. Right. Right. Also, it's to me. It's like... Yeah, that's even, yeah, 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 yeah. Super, super, super. So, that's super. so if you don't want to use cocktail sticks, let them dry flat and then you can just pop them on top. And um, when we squirt the buttercream on, that'll support it. Super, super, super. So whilst I've still got this out, I'm going to do the eyes. Now eyes, what was the sweet stamp thing you said? Was it, do you want to do the sweet stamp? Because you've not done them before. Why don't you show them how to do it with the fondant? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but, save time. I've got yeah. Amy in for two nights. Uh, I'll get her to okay. do it. So she'll save so, you bacon since now. Since I know what I'm doing. So with the eyes again, we're making tapered sausages, yeah. like so. We've got Amy in so to show again, everybody do. loads of things with yeah. the sweet stamps. Yeah. <laughs> so Especially when, their new pickup pad that's food safe. I, <laughs> I, need to, I need to get onto the sweet stamps thing. Have you not tried them out, Jared? No. Oh, you need I to get back up here Wednesday and Thursday no, I'm night. I'm cheap. I don't buy everything that okay. I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying not to. I've got no space in my uh, cake room anymore. <laughs> so when you do this shape, it's, you, you should just um, start off with a ball. And if you roll it between your two palms, you will naturally get that shape. So um, try and get the moving. So again, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I do is just by eye, which isn't right because I don't, I don't, uh, can't do straight lines. But right, so that's great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, I'll show you a flat first before I put it on the cake. So we're just gonna bend it slightly like so, and then on the tip, we're just gonna take the corner and pinch it between finger and thumb, oops, sorry, wrong side. So you want to do one on either side because it's left and right. Yeah, because it looks weird with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job you remembered that last minute there, wasn't it? It's like when you do hands, you have to remember left and right side. Yeah. So, um, and then we can just take a dab of water and we're going to pop them on the front of the cake. So a few people are blaming it on the weather. A few people are blaming it on, um, on Facebook. Um, somebody's watching in Cyprus and the weather's perfectly fine there but we do realise that there's some big storms on as Phil Thorne has just said yeah. there's big storms on and that may be affecting <laughs> it but as I say we've still got a massive audience over 300 let's hope we keep that so when I position my eyes they're going to be about halfway down the cake sorry I just have to swing it around so, so that Sarah continue. we're using Teddy Bear Brown mm -hmm. and it's Teddy Bear Brown from Renshaw how's that look? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Well, you've got one eyebrow up. Which one? This one? Uh, the other one. Do you want to have a, turn him to you? Am I okay? Turn him to yeah, of course you can. Turn him. Oh, don't yeah. don't expect you John to do it all. So turn him to you, and then turn him go. back. Right. So, and then if you want to add extra eyelashes, you can. See, so on those little corners, we just make tiny, tiny little raindrops with pointy ends. And then I just use the brush to hold it in place. So I'll put it, stick it down my finger. And then just dab it with the brush. 
Mm, well, that's it, isn't it? It just makes it a bit easier, so you don't have to squash them. Especially if you're heavy-handed like me, I have massive hands, so <laughs> I tend to find that I squash things very easily. And those people who are currently guessing what the food safe bit is about, I'll completely tell you. Somebody reported me for the picket pads not being food safe, so I had training standards in. So we had to get the food safe certificate. The funny thing is, the person who reported it only had one friend on Facebook. So a bit malicious, isn't it? Fall, fake yeah. profile. Yeah. yeah. I really can't be doing with fake profiles and that, with you know, one friend asking about food, uh, what was it called? Food safe products. Yeah. Anyhow, all the information was sent to trading standards who are watching and nobody is passed. But you know, that's the thing. You Even though you've only got one complaint from someone you know is a troll, you have to still take those procedures yeah. and you've done it for everybody yeah. else out yeah. there. So. It's a, shame that they only, it's a shame that they have nothing else to think about. With all the things that are going on in the world, they want to know whether the food pick up, whether the pickup pad is food safe. Anyhow, just to reassure you all, anybody who's bought the pickup pad, it has had full approval by trading standards that it's food safe. Now, right. I won't tell the troll's name, but I feel no, like no, doing no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, but she's only got one mate on Facebook. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so get some mine. I yes. have used um, Pro Gel colours from yeah. Rainbow Dust to make these colours. So it starts off with white, and again, I've had a little bit of tylosis. Um, uh, we've got the baby blue, we've got pink, and we've got uh, yellow. So I've only used three colours, and then from those three colours, I've just blended them I'm to make clever colours. Um, and that's, so you've got those, those, mm. and those. Yeah. Go on, tell us how you made the green then. So, um, so red and no, yellow and blue for the green. So just work with it because they come out nice and pastel. You've got your pink and your yellow to make it orange and then um, larger amounts of pink and a little bit of blue to make this nice lilac colour. So we're going to have a pastel We'll have to remember that. Yeah, well, they're well. really nice colours. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've got the full set if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to blend them. But as I'm only using a small amount, that would be easier for me. So I'm going to flatten this. Could you get a bigger rolling pin? <laughs> I told you I've got big hands. I've got big hands. I've got to use a big rolling pin. Everything's better bigger, isn't it? Bulk size chocolate share bags of crisps that we don't actually share. <laughs> I do anyway. It's mine. Actually, I've got, a, I've got a full tub of Pringles so I can have on my drive home. <laughs> yes, Victoria, a very sad individual. Right, so... I'm still going on with myself. It really just gets on my nerves. Well, I mean, no, it's your pride yeah. and joy, and yeah. you work hard. It's it gets on my nerves, out there. Uh, I bet she is a cake maker. I know exactly who she is. It's uh, what's that about a millimeter? It's not that. It's not very thick. No. So we're gonna put the. This is the easiest rose cutter, and there are a few other different ones. Um, but for me, yeah, this is my quick one. So you can make roses by hand. It's nice and it's quick, but it's um, you don't get as quick as this. This is super fast. If, I, if I've got a last minute cake, I'm getting these out. So I'll just pop this on um, my phone pad. It's nice to watch you making it like this, actually, to be just fair. hit quickly. And then find my little ball tool somewhere. Oh, sorry. I told you, I put my tools everywhere. I'm terrible. So just go around every petal with your ball tool. Nice and quick. And because you can sit here for, like, you know, a good 10 minutes making a nice rose, maybe a bit longer. Um, unless you've got that I think this, I think this cutter is great for making the little roses that you're going to make now. If you want to make a more professional rose, yeah. I don't think it is. But I no. think it's great for Fillers. what you're going to do on yeah. here. Yeah. So um, I've just gone through the middle as well, just to thin it out slightly. That elongates it. And then just a dab of water in the middle. Fold it in half. Press it down. And then another little dab of water just to help it sit. And then I'm simply going to roll it. So roll, just what, get it so that you can roll a few. Turn it upright and roll some more. And then you can just fan it out and point the edges. And that is, so it's as simple as that. So whilst I was prepping the class, our little demo, we have made a few with the other colours. Do you want to show them? So they're Don't here. lose me pom-poms. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> So it didn't take long to make these. So all. while she was busy prepping before we went live. <laughs> so that's all the other ones that we've made earlier. <laughs> she made all them earlier. I came in with the pom-poms. Yeah, she's just like, I've got these. Do you want these? I was like, oh, yeah. I was like well, actually, do you know what? Just, they, they really match, don't they? So. I've just spent half an hour doing these. <laughs> 
say well, that like, the time. Little, um, blossoms that I've made with the plunger. You can use a pixar plunger, but I'm not going to use those now. I can't use them, are I? She's like, to make me work hard. Like, I come all this way to do the work. And she's like, yeah, I've got this. Great. Good job, I love that. I wasn't thinking when you were doing them. It was only after you made them all. I thought, oh, I've got some of it. <laughs> so, so we've got our roses and we've got the pom pops. Um, so, and I've got ready. I've got my buttercream, which again I've used the pro gel to colour it, and and I've got some lovely nozzles as well to show you. So let me grab those. Are you gonna are you gonna paint this gold this as well? I will do. Yeah, yeah. No, you could do it now, but mm. um, I always save little bits to the end. Yeah. So I think it's the way I work, you know, when I'm, it's like a finishing yeah. touch, so I do it. Yeah. So, but do you know what I was going to say? It actually looks really nice, just in that tiny bit of It does. Actually, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. does. Naked unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've got three different tips. We've got um, the star tip, which is that one. So I'll just give you a little, I'll just show you what that one looks like. We'll put some blue in this one. So mm -hmm. we're not going to do massive, um, what are they called? What are these things called? Squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> Rose it. Rose it. Yeah, yes. so, so what blobs. The blobs. Yeah, the blobs. We don't do huge Swirly ones. Blobs. We just like to do lots of little ones. And then yeah. if you do lots of different colours and dot them about, yeah. um, they look really nice. So this one is the firecracker. That's This is beautiful. I like this one. Would that much show how to use it properly? Yeah. All oh, right. How did you do? Just squeeze it on. <laughs> yeah. Really so there. Oh, yeah. Well, that's two different effects, I suppose. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. There is. <laughs> So I'm going to do a dot in a few places. It was a combat making your life simple there, wasn't it? <laughs> you, you're, uh, you, you're giving me all these um, extra things just thrown in the mix there. Just funny. She she just... <laughs> it is funny when people come into the, into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and root through the box, see what they've got, and go, oh, you know, can we swap this for this? Can we swap that for that? <laughs> Don't you want to use this instead? <laughs> Now, just so you know, um, the cake is fully, it's not sticky at all. So it's come out of the fridge, but it's actually, it's still smooth and buttercream will stick to it. So even if you've got fondant on there, it'll stick. Then lastly, we've got the uh, pinwheel as well. So that's a pinwheel nozzle, that's pink. Are you going to show me how to use this one as well? Or can exactly I just the same. Same way. Yeah. Right, let's try it. So I just seem to be guinea pig tonight. Yeah. So the pom-poms, a lot of you are asking how long are the pom-poms. Go on, show us. Yeah. Have you yeah. done it right? Yeah. I think I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty. See how that one's got, the, the firecracker one's got very thin, um, what are they called? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Little thin bit. They're thinner, yeah. aren't they? And Bruce. the pinwheel's a bit thicker. Yeah. It's, it's cute, great. isn't it? I love the pinwheel. Now, if you want, so I've got um, yellow, blue, and pink. If I wanted a more rainbow mix towards the end, so I'd leave little gaps, all I'd do is I'd take all three of these bags, take those nozzles out by cutting it and put it in one big bag. Yeah. Trim thing and then you've got another, you've got three colour gold mix and yeah. eventually they'll come out with rainbow. Yeah. 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 So the pom-poms, um, uh, Jerry didn't actually make the pom-poms, I just gave them to her as alternative. After watching her make, working away, making her roses, I remembered that we sell these pom-poms. So we actually sell these, they're edible and they're ready made. So after watching Jerry, as I said, working away, I said, so oh, do you want to use these? So the sell by date of these are uh, 22. Wow. So if you haven't That'd used them in two years, if you've not used them in two years, so we sell them on the website. They are great. They do taste nice. And um, there you go. Fabulous. Right. So you can do as much as you want when it comes to um, the buttercream part. But like I said, because we've got lots of flowers and things as well. Oh, got some green coming through now. <laughs> oh, little tips of green. That's just because I've had them. Oh. <laughs> I was mixing it out, I put the spread, where the leftovers in the top. That looks good, doesn't yeah. it? So, Actually, right. looks quite effective. So as I say, you can go all the way around if you wanted to. You can just have the main going down the back. We're going to add some flowers. So let's start with pom-pom, shall we? <laughs> they're, they're so lovely. Oh, they're lovely. Actually, because I've got a little, um, got a little bit at the bottom, so you can actually just pop it straight in. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Could you just show that little bit to, to the camera again yeah, for me? Here. Yeah, yeah. Just bring, can you bring Which it up camera? to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, We're on this camera. Just, can you see? Am I, am I, am I here? Oh, oh, oh. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. 
So, so it's, it's like a tapered part, so it's not a flat bottom. Yeah, so it, it yeah. does mean it's a bit like um, when you put in flowers and yeah. some fancy pickers. I didn't know that. That's quite nice, isn't it? So, yeah. oh, I like the coral oh, one. Beautiful. That's a really nice yeah. colour. They're so right pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really pretty. So, I mean, it's Saves the a unicorn of time is well. one of the, the easiest projects you can actually do if you get the horn right. And, and it's all down to creative. Sorry. It's all down to creative. I've tried to do it. I was like, wow, look at this. I've actually never used my roses because I think I haven't got one of those now. Come on, stick a few of your roses yeah. on. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, Joe. So Use as when many we, as you want. I'm taking them out. <laughs> So you but don't know where to put your roses now, no, do you? No, 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 those pom-poms are going to ruin them. It's more the, the colour, actually. I might, actually, I'm going to go for a green, because I like green. Hmm. I mean, the, those um, rosettes are beautiful. They just come out. You can they, you just need those sometimes. You don't need all the other faffy bits, but I like fancy, so we're going to go for one there. I'm going to pop that blue one at the back. And don't always um, pay attention to the back, too. Don't forget the back. No. Always find that. Nice to have detail everywhere where people look. Yeah, it does look like a carnation, the pom poms, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Mm. I suppose it could. could I actually thought they were carnations at first, and then I saw the name pom poms on them. Yeah. That's gorgeous, that. Yeah. So it's um, nice and simple. Yeah. So we then. I say you can dress it with other things if you want to put sprinkles on there. Now's the time because yeah. um, we've got something actually. Really and easy. you could actually bling those up with a bit of gold or spray yeah. pearlize them, couldn't you? Some um, cake dust or something, you know, like, mm. um, gold dust or something mm. like that, just gives them a spritz. So if you want to put sprinkles on like these ones, you, you can do it now while the buttercream's still stop, um, wet. So if you left it overnight and then did it, they wouldn't. Yeah, they'd fall off, wouldn't mm. they? Yeah. So, okay, yeah. Should we put them on? Should we leave them yeah, off? Yeah, they'll on. Should we do that? Okay. What is up with you? I don't mind. Oh, yeah. it's nice to, because these are nice pastel colours as well. Everything yeah. seems yeah. to tie in today. Yeah. So the sprinkles here that we're selling here, are, they are in our sprinklicious bags, but they are cute. They are quality. Quality sprinkles. Quality yes. sprinkles, yeah. and they are a hundred percent. They are hundred percent free from. They're free from everything. So. Yeah. They're lovely. I like them. Right, making right. hard work at getting in that bag. Yeah, it it was a little rip on the side, you know, like I, I get on bags. You know, when I pulled it, I think I just pulled it. I told you I can't do straight. I didn't go that long. <laughs> right, not, I don't know whether, have we got a little board or something, or can I just throw it on? Throw it on, don't sure? I'm sorry. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. So not, if I'm at home, I normally put it in like a box and then. In a baking tin or something. Yeah, yeah. and then I, whatever I don't use, I can tip back into the pot. Yeah. I'm not wasting it then. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw them on. Could be a bit random there. Way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just to add a bit of sparkle, really. Yeah. So to to finish off the actual um, detailing, we're gonna use the cake lace gold paint, which it's the metallic paint. It is food safe, but it's non-edible. So areas like the horn, the ears, and the eyes, you um, you must be able to take them off. So when I do it for a customer, I tend to have my paperwork and say, please remove all the gold elements before eating. Why do you use that then? Because it's so shiny. Is I cannot it? find another. Well, do you want to choose some? Should I give you some fake Cahill? Ooh, you want to use that? Oh, that's getting the edible stuff out. Like new yeah. So like, yeah. that gold stuff there, I will tell you, is fabulous for dummies. So if you're going to put it on cake dummies, mm. um, it's absolutely fabulous. And you know what you can do while we're doing it? Do you want to just show them how fabulous it is if they want to put it on for a dummy? Oh. Just put it on that board there and I will get you out some fake A-hell. I've just got to find out where they are in the New York and Can't find anything now. So, so when I do um, the cake lace one, it comes in a dust and you just need to mix it with a rejuvenator or... Um, Dipping yeah. solution. Or yeah, yeah, whatever's lying around, really. So let's. Um, which gold would you like to go for? Would you like a rose gold, or would you like a, a proper Ooh. blingy gold? Oh, I like bling. Because signature gold is good. That's oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Actually, Regency's gold is good. Beautiful. I think Regency. That's, that's very close. Regency. Yeah, that's as close as we get. This is edible, isn't it? Yeah, this is edible. Right, let's try that one. What gold was you playing with there? What, my one? That one. Yeah. 
You didn't do. You didn't actually do a great demo of that. I didn't. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say. You know, Would you like, like a better vodka, brush? Do you have any rejuvenator? Yeah, of course I have. Because what I've done is I've put some vodka in there and it soaks it up and it's gone back to being powerful. Here we go. So, oh, thank you. Right, let me pop and some in there. Like dish. Um, I'm going to mix it in the in the lid of this pot, and then I don't have to. Sit. Do you, do you, are you okay to wash? Yeah, yeah. I'm giving you a more. Are you okay to wash? <laughs> right. Do you actually do all the washing up afterwards? Or do of you course, who else do you think does it? What do you mean you don't get somebody else to do it? Because well, if I had people working for me, I'd what, have Laura to do runs it. a joint, looks after the show, I just appear. <laughs> eh? now, now we don't wash up or clean up. <laughs> Like, what do you think you've been doing? I've slugged my guts out for the last four weekends. That's what it looks like, that's a powder. <laughs> <laughs> and when you invite you, you later, again. that's what it looks like. You know you will. Do you love me so much? <laughs> so, look at that. Wow. That is, yeah, that is beautiful. Very sparkly gold, isn't it? Let's so, see. this is the non-edible stuff, food contact. Mm. But this is great for your dummies. Yeah. So, if you want your dummy, if you want your dummies painted gold, this is a fabulous gold for your dummies. The next gold she's going to use is the edible stuff. Jenna, can you just hold that board up for me? Yeah. Or for the centre camera, please? This one here? Please. Is that the right place? That's I'm holding it. beautiful, yeah. So the light's hitting that shiny. absolutely gorgeous. So on that, this side here, that's where it's just the dust. And then that's when you've the, the rejuvenator. Tilt that, that's it. Beautiful. Yeah. Have you got a bit more in there? Use a the brush and do a nice big patch, will you? So they can see it properly. Yeah. Stop being tight. We've got plenty in the dish. But, you know, I'm, um, I, I'm known for being a bit of a cheapy... And well, why don't we just do the whole circle that's on well, we there? Stop being me. Got freaking loads of it in my there. My nickname's Cheapy Cheng, so you know. <laughs> what are you called? Cheapy Cheng? Cheapy <laughs> Cheng, yeah. It's Chinese thing, you know. Cheapy Cheng. It's in my jeans, I can't help it. <laughs> cheapy Cheng. Right, can you see that? Yeah. Lovely, isn't it? Just keep tilting for just very, very, it very the light. Light. And um, it doesn't, it's not very streaky actually as well, so. If you've got the right consistency, you want it quite thick, it, yeah. it takes away any streakiness, but it's very nice. It's one of my favourite products. So this gold is the cake lace gold. It's the non-edible one, so it's for food contact only, and it's for your it's for your dummy cakes. Okay. Yeah. So if you're going to use if you're going to paint your horn or your ears, just remember they can't eat it. Mm -hmm. But I would like her to use the Faye Cahill uh, product, which is edible. Right. And Nikki King, I am enjoying eating a very nice chocolate biscuit. Don't know where you can see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm on chocolate biscuits, look. See. Not eating all day. I've only had a banana no, toastie. On the side. <laughs> banana toastie? That's all bad. I have a banana toastie every morning for my breakfast. It's a banana toastie. Banana on toast. Mash banana on toast. They're all mashed up like warm just hot toast. toast. Oh, just wow. banana. Yeah. All right, I've never yeah. had that before. Why don't you use the end of your brush? to dig it out before the whole lot plops out and we waste it. <laughs> Can you, know, you tell what I do? Because then I time. might punch you on when you throw all that lot away. Oh, fake hail dust. <laughs> Is that what you need? I have to take it home. Um, I see, well, I don't want to use too much because if I, I can always add more, can't I? Cheapy no. Cheng, I told you. <laughs> well, you didn't look Cheapy Cheng before. I thought you were going to drop the lot in. Um, I'd like to say I know what I'm doing, but sometimes I'm winging it like the rest of you. Right, let's see how that goes. So again, I've added rejuvenator. Yeah, put the lid on and so I do the bit, right. I think I might need a bit more than that. Too. Okay, yeah, that's good. So consistency-wise, you want it fairly thick because you don't want um, streaks. So I'm going to do go in with the eyes first, actually. Right. So are we going to do that? Let me just let me see if I can get this camera back on. Let me just see if I can get this camera back on a minute. Okay. Yeah, the nice those biscuits, aren't they? I've had a full packet tonight. I've only got two left. Jerry's Jerry's not one. getting one. No. Gonna... Don't want me to save you this last one. No, I don't want one now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm all right. Thank you. Mm, I'm safe in my stomach for my Pringles. <laughs> I did offer them to Laura, and Shelley's only had one earlier. Two now. <laughs> two just now. whilst Laura's setting up the other camera, I'm just going to paint one side so you can see the difference. And the re um, I have used Teddy Bear Brown because it picks up gold better. So if you did it on white, it, you'd have a little slightly different shade of gold coming up. But if you do well, it that's on a, good tip, a brown isn't it? tone, yeah. it comes out more gold. Yeah. So you, you managed to get that on, Laura? Are we watching you on the camera? No. no. Oh, no, I hope you're not. <laughs> oh, I bet you are, actually. <laughs> oh, no, no, you weren't. <laughs> 
Right. You see her face then? Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> you forget you're on camera though once you start rolling, don't you? Can you see it now? Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Okay, Thank so I'm just going to go in. Um, you made me panic then, Carol. <laughs> I'll tell you, these bunch, they, they're such a lovely bunch of ladies in here. Every time <laughs> they leave with laughs. Am belly, I included in that? My belly. Considering <laughs> no, <laughs> seeing that I don't run the show, I don't do any work, I don't wash up. <laughs> Am I included <laughs> in the lovely ladies bit? <laughs> eh? Can you get this? It's number one in my eyes. Oh, oh, come on. Honestly, it's just, um, I come, every time I really look forward to this. And Phil Thorne, yes, I do sell the mixing palette. I've just not put it on the website yet. It's a fab mixing palette, that, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. I like this. Yeah. Do you know so, why? Because it's nice and deep. Yeah. And then I, I get, I am clumsy. If I had, um, the one I've got at home is quite shallow. Yeah. Um, and I, I find it just fly everywhere. I will put it on because I'll show you the normal I'm ones. It's going in there like that. Um, we're going to eat it. Here's the one. Sorry, I'm going to the camera. Sorry. So one. just let me just show them the normal. Those are the normal ones. Yeah, that's the one. Ones. No, I'm not. I'm not an Ed Carroll. Pardon? Oh, wait up. No, yeah. Okay. Sorry. So those are the normal yeah. ones. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to pop these on the website tonight because these are absolutely brilliant. So yeah. Whilst you've got it, you can see the colour difference between yeah. the two. Yeah. So can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Which was the which was so the this one? This is the fake Carroll one. Yeah. And then that's the gold the oh. one. So they are they're two different ones, but I say one's edible and one isn't. So. It's Again, is it to you which one you prefer, or for which project you suppose? Everybody say now they always enjoy the lives and how much fun it is. I never know what's going to come out of my mouth next. You don't know what to expect, okay. do you? <laughs> I will get that palette palette on the website tonight, I promise you. It will be on. I've got to get um, a palette painting class on. So I've got some more classes to put on on the website um, by the Queen of Hearts Girls. Mm -hmm. Palette painting class. So I need to get that on tonight. So we're on this done. How many of the time, actually? Pardon? Um, I will pass nine. Oh, I can finish early. Mm. Well, I may as well go home since I was completely useless tonight. <laughs> Not been of any help. Who was it who cleaned this kitchen doing? and set it all up for the live? <laughs> hey, Shelley, who I was it, love? It. Yeah. <laughs> so, which gold was the fake Hay Hill one? Because there is this quite is the one few. That... Oh, there's the loads range, of gold. Yeah. Um, this particular one is this a Regency? This is, yes, this is Regency Perfect. gold. Yeah. Yeah, this, there's, a, there's of loads, and um, there are beautiful ones in the fake Hay Hill range. This is the Regency gold. If Jerry finishes early, do you want me to show you them all? What do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> Even I heard that, Laura. <laughs> You're closer to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to ping the off button. <laughs> <laughs> So Paula Vickers has said, could you paint the elements and then attach them to the cake? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But like I say, I, it's just uh, how I work. I, I tend yeah. to, I like making work for myself basically. Um, but well, a lot of the time, because I'm so busy with working with the projects I do, everything's I kind of multitask. So I, I, yeah. do a lot, I do a couple of cakes at the same time and then I work into the cakes and do a little bit at a time. Yeah. But everything's stuck to the cake at that point. Um, Sorry, Laura, you're going to stay a little bit later because oh. they want me to show them the fake Hay Hill. I've got to show them because they're actually really nice. They are. I'm really, yeah. I'm really impressed with this one. Need a bit more yeah. rejuvenator on there to get it dry. It's quite, um, I mean, it is hard to match an edible gold, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's better. Just speak that in. As you can see, the, the horn itself, even though we've put quite a bit of silo in it, it hasn't cracked or anything. I had a, with the with the cake lace gold. I'd done a cake class the other day. We were making dragons, and they'd not seen that lace that that uh, product before, so they went crazy on it. And um, every part of that dragon weight, the horns, the nails, <laughs> yeah. the wings, they were they were going. They were going right, crazy. It's an absolutely amazing product. It is, but at the end of the day, we have to tell them it's um, yes, it's food it's contact only. 
I like it. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Look at that. It's and, that's um, warm tone that's come yeah. through there, hasn't it? Oh, I've missed the spot. And the lovely, um, they do a beautiful bronze and a beautiful silver. We sell all three colours. They're mm. all amazing. Mm. That's lovely. Yeah. It's not streaky. It's no. I can see it on here. It's not. It's gone there. It's nice. Nice colours coming through. Look, any any lumps and bumps or missing bits. There we go. Feeling very nicely. Well done. Well, what else are you going to do to it? So, you can you more or less leave it at that because I mean, depending on how much you want to sell these things for, um, you can go in with more detailing. You could do different colours. So I've seen mm. the black unicorns. They're beautiful. Mm. Um, and partial to a bit of black and gold. Um, if you wanted to do marshmallows or meringue kisses, you can add those on too. Um, but oh, I, I think those palms are brilliant, so I'm sure you'll have some spot on the shop, won't you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's quick, isn't it, when you pop those on? Yeah, Sometimes it really it's not isn't. worth the effort you're doing it yourself, yeah. you're just buying it. Yep, I'm going to show you the dust, so hang on a minute, let me get yes. some stuff now. So let me just come and say thank you to Jerry, and, and then you've left all this lovely no, sugar paste no, out that you've needed. <laughs> and I will tell you, it's actually still quite good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what should we'll we wrap, that up, should we wrap it up in that lovely cling film that's in the fridge? Oh, you never put it back in the fridge, no, did you? Is, is it mine or yours? Well, I don't know, Matt. It must be cold. Let me just check whether it's mine in the fridge. That's not the fridge. <laughs> that's too many colours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's your mine. You did not put mine in the fridge. No, I'll use oh, mine. Good one. <laughs> right, let me get set up to show them these fake right. alien colours. <laughs> and then let me just talk about your uh, um, what's it for us. Did she do a fantastic job? Beautiful. Absolutely Stunning. beautiful. And so easy to make, isn't it? Hey, how lovely is that? So lots of hints and tips there. Well done, Jerry. Yeah. So some work for some work, some don't, but it's up to you to give it a try. The yeah. main thing is, like I say, it's just tips on sometimes thinking of ideas on what to do and the yeah. right products to buy for it. Yeah, absolutely. So on there we've used the Wilton 1M, we've used the uh, Firecracker from Nifty Nozzles, the Pinwheel from Nifty Nozzles, we've used the Pro Gels. So let's do the drawers, shall we? Get the drawers. So talking of Pro Gel colours, okay, which is the drawer for the Pro Gel? Renshaw uh, Pro Gel. Yeah. So we have to draw a winner for one of these, okay? So last week we did a Tuesday Live with uh, Renshaw in the Kitchen and they very kindly gave us 10 of, the, of these fabulous colours to give away. Um, what they wanted to do is do a like and a share. So Jerry, pick one. That one. Tiny, who I know, Shelley did. Because I don't Mary, do now. Mary Bowden. Ooh, congratulations Yay, Mary Bowden. Do you want to put it in front of the camera? So Mary Bowden, phone. these are going to be coming over to you. Can you see that? Yes. Yay. Private well message us on. I'll keep that one. Yep, you better to know who it is. So one, private thanks. message us on Facebook. You have won those ten pro gels. Fabulous. Okay. And then we have this one. Oh, we have this one. What's this one for? The apron. <laughs> yeah. All right. We've got a bit of a problem with the apron. So let me just tell you before, so that. you can decide. Okay. So with the apron, we did a draw for the apron. Okay. Brand new apron, absolutely lovely. But last week, some clever person left a wet cloth on it there, so it's got a watermark. So I didn't want to put it through the washer and dryer because then you would know and think I was giving you a used one. So you can either you can either have this one and wash it yourself, okay? And this one says on it, Laura. It says diet rule number one: if nobody sees you eating it, it doesn't contain any calories. So you can choose this one. And these are made by the lovely Danielle. I'm not going to say her surname because I always get it wrong. Uh, but she is here next week. And she makes these fabulous aprons. Or you can choose this one. And that says, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. <laughs> Stay safe, eat cake. I like that one. They're never going to be able to kidnap me, are they? <laughs> <laughs> so the winner of that is... Oh, are we going through? Go on. Well, I bet I'm not supposed right. to have a look, you know. That's a lovely. Well, that's <laughs> someone's talking really good. <laughs> Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> well, we found when we used the big ones, you can sort of see, even though it would look oh, really uh, She's done a good job doing it. <laughs> right. Oh, Lindsay Turner. Oh, don't have the word. Lindsay Turner. I love how you spell your name. That's yeah. a nice way to spell it. So, Lindsay, Lindsay. I don't Mary. actually, I, I know you on Facebook. I don't know if you're a big that. girl, but you can Thank choose you. which one you want. Mm. So, oh, that one, do you know like this one? I love the purple, I think. Yeah. yeah, so you can choose which one you want. So again, Lindsay Turner, Facebook message us, let us know, and uh, you can do that one, okay? And then what else are we going to do? 
So you will share this live to be in with a chance for winning four of the colours. You stay here. Mm -hmm. You can be my assistant. Mm -hmm. So we'll sit them on there. Oh, we'll sit them on top of the pom poms. I've got that there just in case you yeah. don't want to break those. Okay, and then we'll get the dust out. Mm -hmm. We'll get the dust out. We need some kitchen roll. Seen them? You can't. I don't know if you can see this, but the mess I have left. I'm so yeah. sorry. Well, I don't um, think I'll bother cleaning it up. <laughs> see, she's at Shelley and Laura. Laura got all the glory tonight. I think I'm going to wing myself off the bed because I don't actually do any work. I've done your favour then. Eh? Gonna be shrunk, <laughs> it's going to be shrunk wrapped soon in that frigging frozen frigging cling film. <laughs> right, okay, so where's all the dust? There they are. So let's get a few of the golds out. Nice colours. Yeah. yeah. So let's do a few of the golds. Oh, pistachio. We'll do those. Is that a gold as well? Oh, and a lot. Copper. Mm. Let's do the golds because everybody always wants gold, don't they? Yeah. Golds and silvers we've had requests for. Oh, have we? Very nice. Right. Okay, so let's Ooh. do these royal gold. So I'll just help um, Jerry out here on how to tip out. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let me newly really organised cupboards now. Let me right. find my brushes. Oh, so let me tidy up a little bit whilst. Okay. I'll just have a quick tidy up whilst you do that. Brushes. Oh, I'm loving these colours. Oh, shimmer gold. That's nice. It's like a lighter one. Yes, so when you're tipping these out, can you see this on here, Laura? Yeah. So get the end of your brush. You don't just tip it out like that and hope for the best because there's a lot of blob out. Can I tell you about these as well? The six ninety five. Okay, this should be nine ninety nine, but I have to price match with another company. So the six ninety five. This tub will cover three eight-inch cakes, okay? And you can brush it on if you want to, or you can uh, add rejuvenator, alcohol, um, Bacardi, gin, vodka, or you can use dipping solution, or if you don't want any of those, you can use lemon juice, okay? Um, so that, that will do three cakes. And just remember, you're paying six ninety five, but you are getting double the weight as well. So it works out the same as all the other stuff, really. So, I'll put that in there. Bit of rejuvenator. So, what was the name of that one? Oh, a lot of dust in there. I know. Well, You're the very thing generous. is, no, because the thing is, not generous at all. Because what she doesn't know is, Laura, just get your camera. Yeah. If you scrape, scrape that it. up, yeah. Afterwards, there's not worth scraping that up. But if you make loads and scrape it up, mm. afterwards you get your brush and tap it back in. Ah. So I never worry about how much you've got in. That's why I put mine in little pots and then I can keep the pots. Yeah. It's a nice colour that one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Stir it in. Which, which tissue paper do I need to be on, Laura? Either or, whatever you prefer. Wow. So you can see that. Can they see that That's well enough on the camera there? Yeah. yeah. So what colour was that? I forgot. That's a royal gold. Memory, 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 memory. I think it's because I've come, because I've not. No, I've actually memory got no memory. memory. I've actually made it. I remembered your name. I don't know. I don't remember anybody's name. So I there think that's you go. Good thing. <laughs> hey? That's definitely a good thing. <laughs> Absolutely. So you put the lid on yeah. that one. Let's get another brush. So that one's the royal gold. We've got plenty in stock, everybody. What's this one? The signature gold and there's shimmer gold, which is a bit lighter. Check that I put the lid on properly. Yeah. That one. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get loads of brushes out. Right. So what's mm. the next colour we get now? Shimmer gold. Mm -hmm. Loads in here. You never mm, think that these them. are completely edible because they're so shiny. Mm. Lovely. And actually, I'm just looking at the other colour palettes. They are very, they just scream fade all over, don't they? Yeah. yeah. That palette <laughs> has such a nice colour. I was so saying, imagine these in eyeshadows. Oh, yeah. That's very similar. You show me over the same one. You show me over the same one. No, no, there is a difference. Yeah. There is. is there? Yep. It's a lighter shade. That's the three shadows. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I was saying, shadows. imagine these in an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, there is a difference. That's slightly yeah. darker, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. What was that one? That was the uh, Shimmer Gold. Shimmer Gold. Mm -hmm. um, and then this 
I'll go through all my brushes in a minute. I'm trying, I'm trying to locate these wide brushes. So go on then, what else have we got? Look, look at her brush collection. <laughs> Is this a gold? This is the signature, signature gold. gold. Yeah. Emily, we will show the silver. Just we're just going to run through the gold really quickly. I won't be able to scrape these, but I'm going to back in the pot because I won't really know which ones they were. <laughs> <laughs> Proper idea, wasn't it? <laughs> I normally do them into the lid. So this is this signature gold. When they're all wow. dry, pop them in the clean pot, and then you can make your own. Mm. And so you Shane, who I buy these off. He uh, said do them on tissue paper because you could see the colours mm. easier. Oh, so nice. that's signature gold. It's, almost, it's a bit more antique gold. Yes. Yeah, but that's so, very yeah. much no, that's like. it matches. Doesn't it match mm. that yeah, gold? As close as match as we can get, really. Isn't it? Honestly, mm. now you've picked that up, the light hitting them is amazing. Yeah. Is it? Can you see them? Yeah, beautiful. Is that what I need to do? That's beautiful. Is that called boomerang, that? Is that what we're doing no. for boomerang? No. <laughs> Is that no, not no, sorry, it's not. <laughs> have I not got it? <laughs> I'm old, mate. Why do we have to stand in front of the camera wiggling stuff? <laughs> don't. Then? It doesn't. It the app does it for you. That's the point. Oh, this is what I keep no. trying to explain. Oh, <laughs> so why do you ask people to wiggle stuff then? I don't. <laughs> so if they just stand there, it would do it If itself. you moved it once, it does a boomerang action. So yeah. it goes back and forth, back and forth for right, so you. So you have to do it once? Yeah, yeah. and then it will do that. That, whatever Why action. do we have everyone going I like have that? no idea. I've well, tried to explain it to me. <laughs> right, we need to explain right, to our audit, Jerry. You'll be I'll, doing I'll it. I'll show you when we're finished, Carol, on the app. No, don't let me do it. We I've already made it. a fool of myself tonight, on here. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do it. So this what? is the rose gold. Right, you fasten the Oh, lids. I love that one. That's nice. Yeah, this has been yeah. the top selling one this week. Mind you, I think rose gold goes with so many things. Yeah. Even this colour palette, it would have looked nice. Now, I've it. actually really watered these towns as well. Mm. So it's not going a long way because I am putting it on tissue paper. Okay, that's why. If it was on the cake, it'd go much further. That looks Lovely nice. That. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, who's that weeping away there? Right. Oh, is that me? Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm literally right. like, I thought I've escaped the house. Yeah. Nothing else matters anymore. So, so we've got that that one. So what colour was that that we just that used? Was uh, that was rose gold. Okay. Like, and oh then we've got bronze. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Get out another dish in a minute. Olive leaf gold. Can I have That's the gold that you've used? Oh, I've put them over here. Oh, which gold? <laughs> here, here. Oh, okay. Oh, all three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I love your nails. I don't know if you can tell where Laura's putting nails close to the camera. Nice. Oh, right. Oh, get oh, look at that. That's lovely. That's nice. Oh, very clever. Yeah, all right. Let's do rose. Let's, that's rose gold there. That's rose gold as well. Thank you very much. Um, this one this... copper. Are you on copper? I'm copper now, yeah. yeah. That's this one. Thank you. Oh, lovely colours, aren't they? Beautiful colours, aren't they? I'm gonna have to go shopping, aren't I? Yeah, and I need to ask him how he said put it on. I'm sure he said get like a makeup brush as well to dust them on with. Yeah, mm. you know, just get a makeup. You know that spongy makeup uh, yes. brush. Yeah, I know what Dip you mean. Dip it in and then buff it on. Yeah, and yeah. then buff it on your cake. Yes. That's right. That's what I said. It. Yeah, and uh, he said it would do plenty. Right, so Lovely. we've done that. Where's that's, that other tray? There's bronze there. there if you want to do a bronze. Yeah, I just need another tray. Do we do that white tray? This one. We'll have to use this. Okay. Right, right. Do you want so we're going to do this bronze. Do they all like these colours? Is it worth staying here? No, it really is, yeah. They're beautiful. <laughs> it's hard to see when it's in the tub sometimes. Yes. Seeing it actually painted on. Am I doing all 30 odd colours now? Do you want silvers? Not quite. We did ask, the, yeah, someone did ask for silvers. Right. Oh, that's black. I don't remember. What colour is this one? This one is a bronze. bronze. Oh, they look very similar then, don't they? So the liquid that is being used is um, <laughs> the liquid that's being used is a dipping solution, and it's basically a clear, flavourless alcohol, and it evaporates. So once you've used it, it actually evaporates. There's no flavour or anything like that to it. Um, you can use vodka. You can use any clear spirit like a vodka or a gin. If you have a preference or if you don't want to use any alcohol, you can use um, very strained lemon juice. has to be yeah. very, very strained no though. Pink. Yeah, nothing in it. 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's total preference as to what you use to actually mix your, your dust with. One thing I want to ask is how do you get um, all the colours out of your brushes? Uh, I put them in the um, cornflower. Oh, I dip right. them in cornflower. There's a little cup up there. Have a look at that cup in the cupboard behind me. Oh, this one. Yeah, there's a little glass of oh, cornflower. Yeah. So there's a, there's a few people saying we need to write the initials, but we could if we actually had a pen. Um, I'm not what do you want? Someone to keep people keep asking. Oh, there is a pen on, in the kitchen drawer. Can Shall you write it? on the um, kitchen oh, place over, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. We will, give us a minute. This, this is just stuff. totally off the cuff, by the way. This wasn't yeah, planned. This, was this, this is just air in the fucking gold. <laughs> I was in trouble. Uh, we all thought we had an early night. I thought I did, seeing as I don't run the joint anymore. Laura looks after it. Shelley does I'll the cleaning. Like this down, uh, for God's sake. <laughs> I do <laughs> now, Pete. Um, so this is... Uh, I do fight trading standards, though, with a pick-up pad, being food safe. <laughs> off our Facebook warrior there, who's only got one mate. That was that one. Right. Which one's this? Platinum silver. No, this one's got me watching me wondering what the hell I'm going on about. <laughs> oh, but I'm sure our Facebook warrior will be watching. <laughs> Is she a warrior or a troll? Is that well, what we call them? She's not a warrior. Uh, she thought she was a warrior. Yeah. Definitely a lady. A keyboard. Eh? Is it definitely a lady? I know exactly who it was. Oh, right. <laughs> eh? There's not many one, one friended people that come along, is there? Not being funny, oh, but this there's, is a nice thought. there's a better things to do in the world than frigging moaning about. Uh, I wouldn't mind. It's not even. It doesn't even go on the food. No. <laughs> so this is platinum silver. It's, um, it's almost like gun metal. It's nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two very different looks. You have, this one almost has um. All the mates now are be spawning saying, you know, Carol on that Facebook Live, going on <laughs> about you, reporting her to trading standards. But I'd be good on like a sports car kind of cake. Right, yeah. okay. So we've got that one there. What else have we got? Does um, anyone want to see like um, the pink? Do you want to oh, oh, the writing's all smudging because the paper towel's oh. damp. Let's do a bit of powder <laughs> pink. Let's do this lovely pink colour. It's great. Oh, Galaxy White. I don't think you need to see that one, but... I don't think we'll see the Galaxy White no. on Pistachio. I want to see Pistachio. I want to see Pistachio, yeah. right, and then she'll just get in there. But I've got a... This, this, is, this is going from bad to worse. Okay. <laughs> Look what I've tried to help with. How things have all been like that today, haven't we? <laughs> That's bronze, Nothing gone copper, copper, rose gold, royal Ooh. gold, shimmer gold, signature oh, gold. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's, That's nice. a nice eyeshadow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's the, um... Oh, what is that? I don't know. Powder, powder pink. Oh, I like that. And yeah, we're going to do lovely. the pistachio, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Oh, I meant to tell you. Yeah. New flavours out this week. Oh. Loads of them. Stop moaning. Loads of new flavours. Yeah, and there's actually two, there's actually three more coming as well soon. And then we'll start on the winter flavours. Can you believe it? We're into June mm -hmm. and we're already starting to think about winter flavours. So that's that pink there. What am I doing? Yes, yeah, so on Friday, they'll be ready. So who's coming watching me with the Amy Sweet stamps this week? I think that'll be a big Tuesday. Audience. Tuesday and Thursday. So on, not Tuesday and Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, 8 o'clock, okay? We've got Amy Sweet stamps and her team. They're going to show you the flooding method, the non parallels method. We've got Molly Robbins here as well, joining in the fun on Wednesday. She's Molly. going to come and uh, make something with her Creature Creative Mould and uh, they're going to fill in the board for you. That's nice. Mm. Isn't that nice, yeah. that pistachio? Right. I've got two more spaces. What should we have? Oh, that was flash silver. Right, oh, well, we know it's green pistachio. Oh, sorbet. Sorbet. That's like a pink else tape. exciting than that. How about olive, this olive leaf gold? I don't know. Olive leaf gold. It just looks interesting, doesn't it? Let's leave gold. Let's try that. So Molly Robbins is in on oh, uh, Wednesday night. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. So um, it's she's awesome. in on Wednesday night, and Rosie Kate Diva is in on Wednesday on Thursday night. Oh, I'm getting all my nights muddled up. I'm doing lives anyhow. You know when I don't do anything, I just <laughs> let Laura come in and do it all. Maria's in. Okay. So when I don't do now, I'll be here watching, talking, 
going on with myself. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? that? Well, That's well, khaki well. colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really nice. nice. It is. But it's only yeah. green, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Really nice. one? That one it's was um, uh, flash the light. Yes, yeah, flash silver. Flash silver. Yeah. Oh, well, I like that. memory than I have. I'm just like, ooh, shiny. Well, I've been upset tonight. I don't do now. Oh, so at least I can work on my memory. So I'm just not going And then what else? We're doing oh, one I more. Oh, I like this one, dusky lilac. Has, have you missed a gold there? Have I? What colour is that? That's regions. That's no, one I use on the horn. Gold. We've I done that regions. one. Say, yeah. Do you want to try a blush rose gold then? Ah, mm. oh, yeah, you've used rose gold, but not blush. Oh, there's Merlot. Mmm. Mm. Have you all had enough yet? Yeah, quite. Just, uh, yeah, like wine. Have you had it? Pardon? Like wine, Shelley said. I don't get I just said, yeah, red wine. These are um, beautiful. Let's yeah. put this gold here next to this. This is blush rose gold. Blush rose gold, yeah. So let's just put that there so you can see the difference. Oh, yeah, there's definitely more of a pink tinge with that mm. down. Ooh, do you know what? We had a lady the other day bought every single one, didn't she? Yeah. In fact, she went a bit mad in the shop. She bought everything. <laughs> <laughs> kind of who you like, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, that's, that's it. Fabulous. Not going to show you anymore, unless you want to see any more, but... No, I think we're done. No, Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Yeah. Absolutely. What time is it now? Let me turn this on before we um, so stop them. Just, um, someone's asked, um, can you put a list up of who is on what live on what days on Facebook? Have you created events? Yeah. The events have been created, so if they go into Facebook, they'll see them. So we've got lots of things. I know it's very confusing just now, because Jerry keeps putting me off telling me I don't do any work. All right. Anyhow, <laughs> on Wednesday night is Amy from, uh, from Sweet Stamps, Amy Cakes, or Amy Cakes Sweet Stamps, whatever it's called, I don't know, but I just call them Sweet Stamps. She is bringing over three ladies from Ireland, <clears throat> and Molly, Robin, uh, Molly Robbins is coming to join us. That's 8 o'clock Wednesday night. And what they need to show you is their graffiti set, the flooding method. Molly's going to make something. They're going to decorate the board. We're going to give you hints and tips how to take them out the trays, how to look after them. Um, we're going to use um, the sweet sticks edible paints. And then on Thursday, Amy is here. She's going to be working with Rosie Cake Diva and one of the other ladies whose name I can't remember. But they're going to be working, doing something fabulous as well. So we're going to go through all the sets. Now, one of the things that you don't know is, is that I've had my photographer take pictures of all the sets. So I've had him take a picture of it in the packaging that you get it, out of the packaging, then all the letters out. Can you believe my photographer like this? He's had a nightmare. The poor guy, he should have seen his face. I, I've got a right email of him. So he's taken all the letters out so you can see them. And then just to add to it, I said to him, can you put a ruler at the side of it and put the A from the uppercase and the A from the lowercase? So he asked me if that was all right. I said, I'm so impressed. Can you do the numbers now from each set? One, two, three. So if you go, <laughs> I reckon he's resigned. <laughs> so, a break. <laughs> so if you go into each set now, you should be able to see each size of everything. And those are all been done by my lovely photographer, who I suspect is not talking to me anymore. <laughs> but I spent Sunday night uploading them to the website. So the two, so all the girls are in on Wednesday and Thursday at eight o'clock. Then on Saturday, we are doing a Facebook Live at 10 a.m. Now, those of you who are coming to the demonstration morning, the demonstration morning, you need to be there for half past nine, okay? So the live starts at 10. So don't get confused to turn up at 10. You won't be coming in because we'll be going live. So Laura and I and Maria will be there setting up and Karen from the office and Yin from the office. We're all going to be there setting up the live, serving tea and coffee. Karen Davies is going to come in and do a demo for you. And that demo will go live. And then when the live's finished, you can have a little chat with Karen. She does have to nip off fairly rapid because she's moving units on Saturday, just to add to her stress. And then you can come over and shop in our warehouse. Okay, and we'll tell you all about that on Saturday. And then we've also got, I've got a mad weekend. I've got Zoe Fancy Cakes arriving on Friday night. I've got to set up the kitchen. I've also got a bake for the demonstration morning. And then John's on car park attending duty, getting everybody in for the bride and groom class. And then we've all got to run around and do the demonstration. Now somebody's got to come back and do the lunch uh, for the class uh, while the rest of us serve in the unit. <laughs> It's chaos. And then the whole thing starts again on Saturday. You know when I have now to do? I've got 
the characters class to do. And then I'm going to start work oh, again on Monday. Tight. Just thinking about it. I've actually not, ha I've not, had, not had a weekend off for three weekends. So, you know, while I don't do anything. <laughs> Jerry Love. Yes. Great. So thank you for Renshaw for everything you're doing. Uh, for everything you've done with the freebies. If you mm. share this live tonight, next uh, Wednesday, no, should we do it on Wednesday? We best draw it on Wednesday, yeah. anyway. Yeah. We'll draw it on Wednesday for the uh, rainbow dust colours. So get sharing, liking. I hope you've enjoyed this live tonight. Is there anything you want to say, Laura? Very, very quickly. I don't want to dwell on this too much, but I know Viv Goddard, she's a bit upset that we've had to cancel the November social demonstration morning. Oh, unfortunately, so can it's for a very good reason. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have been invited to go to Australia and showcase our products. So basically, we're going to be doing three shows in November. So we have to fly out to go to Sydney and we're going to do the Sydney show. Um, it's exhausting because it's a two-day trip there. We arrive, we've got a, we get one day off, we've got to set up for the show. We're doing a three-day show, we get one day off. We're on a flight then to Valerie and Christina's show in Manila in the Philippines. We've got one day off and then we've got to set up for the show. Then we've got three day shows, so that's four days working. Then we're going to fly back then. We aren't going to take a week off, but we're not taking a week off. We're going to fill Australia with Facebook Lives, which you'll be able to see as well, because we're going to try and do some UK time. Maria and Laura are coming with me. Then we're flying down to Melbourne and we're doing the Melbourne show, okay? Which again is a setup and a three day show and then we're on the flight home. And unfortunately, that's all in November. It's only just come about. So we are taking the November demonstration day off. You can have a refund, okay, or we are setting up a January demonstration morning so we can move you on to that one. So we're very sorry, Viv, that that's upset you, but unfortunately there's an opportunity come and we've just got to do it. Australia, can't say no to that. Can yeah, you? but have you seen that itinerary? You know yeah. the one who doesn't work? <laughs> well, the other one help us. He's got to set yeah. it all up. <laughs> all the hotels, sort out all the flights, in amongst all the other things that I'm doing tonight. I got it. I right. Got it. <laughs> right, anyhow, that's over and out from us. Is there anything else we should be saying, Laura? No, but thank you everyone for watching. It's yeah, been fantastic. We are getting the most amazing comments and feedback as well from this, this live. So thank you very much for everyone. Have you enjoyed really it? really appreciate it. It's been fantastic. The comments and feedback is great. Thank you so great. much for sticking by with us as well because it is really bad. Jerry, they we don't know it. what we do. No, Jerry, they have loved having you here tonight. We're just ordinary bakers doing ordinary things. Sometimes you mess up. But She's we a fun. great girl. We, we do love having her in the kitchen. She's great fun. And we'll make sure we get her back. She's, this oh, is your third you. trip here now, isn't it? it? Yeah. So she's getting coffee in her something now. I need a tote in the back so I can come kitchen over sometimes and stuff. <laughs> so we will see you on Wednesday night at 8 o'clock and then we'll see you on Thursday night at 8 o'clock and then we'll see you on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Okay? Bye-bye <laughs> for now. Bye.